to Pat in the Pot Creole Cooking Show. I'm Chef Pat Darbone from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Today I got a lot going on in my kitchen. So I'm going to show you. Right now we're going to start off with some good old filet catfish. I'm going to be cooking a catfish couvillon, Louisiana style. And over here I have corn mock chew that I'm going to be cooking. And I got it all cut off the cob already and I saved one so I can show you how to cut it. For my catfish couvillon, I have one large can of crushed tomatoes and one can of diced tomatoes with chili. And I have for my mock chew, I'm going to brown some good old smoked tasso. And I have all my trinity. I have my green onions. I have my celery, which I, I got about uh, two little bunches of green onions and one stick of celery, a half a large bell pepper and one whole large yellow onion. And I have, of course, my good old Cajun seasoning. I have some, right here, some good old Old Bay seasoning. I got some thyme. And I have some heavy cream for my corn mock chew. Got one good old jalapeno to go in that corn and some two bay leaves and some butter. So. Right now, we're going to start off by seasoning the catfish. And by the way, I got my catfish from Lake Charles Poultry. They got the best catfish, I tell you. You know, I don't like my fish to taste fishy. Well, I tell you what, you go to Lake Charles Poultry and you get some good, clean catfish. You don't have that fishy taste, so that's where I buy my fish. And I forgot to tell you, the main ingredient, got to have my little drinky drink. Oh yes, and you see this glass here? This was a gift from my best friend from high school, Sue Prudum Lanza. Look at it, I got it, Sue. I'm gonna have one drink on you. Ooh, I'm ready to get started now. Thank you, Sue, for my pretty glass. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start seasoning the catfish right now. Got my little seasoning blend right here, Cajun spices, which consists of red pepper, black pepper, salt, garlic powder. And we're just gonna go ahead and cover the fish like so. Make sure you cover it pretty good. There we go, just like that. Sprinkle it all over. You wanna get it nice and coated. Then you're gonna come back with your Old Bay seasoning. And you don't wanna put too much, you just put a little bit. There you go. That Old Bay seasoning kicks up the seafood flavor. So you don't want to put too much because it's kind of strong. There we go now. We're going to go ahead and flip it over. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. There we go. Flip it over. Like so. All right. One more to go. All right, we're going to continue seasoning our catfish. This is going to be a good couvillon. There we go. I don't measure my seasoning. I just sprinkle. You know, they say in Louisiana, we don't measure anything. We just shake, shake, shake till the ancestors say stop. There we go. All right. There we go. My ancestor said stop, so I had to stop. Put a little bit more base, uh, old base seasoning right there. There we go, we're ready to go. So now we're gonna take a short commercial break and we'll be back with more Pat in the Pot. Daniel, you ready to go camping? Well, yeah, Gavin, let's go through the checklist. Let's check the water lines and fixtures for leaks. Southern stocks all the plumbing fittings you need to get going. Is the AC and refrigerator working? I sure hope so. I hate to be hot or have hot drinks. Southern stocks several models of ACs and refrigerators. Don't forget to check the lights. How many bulbs do you think we need? You know they burn out fast. Southern stocks 12 volt LED bulbs that last up to 50,000 hours. Let's make our first stop. Southern Mobile Home and RV Supply. Since 1991, Dr. Robert Arango has provided the best foot and ankle care for his patients in Southwest Louisiana. Lake Area Foot Care Center is dedicated to your comfort and prompt attention. Many minor foot and ankle procedures can be successfully treated in office, such as ingrown toenails, skin biopsies, 
hammer toes, bone spurs, and wart removal. At Lake Area Foot Care Center, Dr. Arango's goal is to help you maintain healthy feet and ankles. Welcome back to Pat in the Pot. And while we were on commercial break, I went on and throw my one stick of butter, and that is real butter, unsalted, one stick of butter in the pot. So it is all melted. Now we're gonna start adding our vegetables. So I have one whole onion going in there right now. There we go, one whole onion. I got a half a bell pepper going in there. I got about a stick and a half of celery going in. And I got a little bit of green onions for right now. I'm not going to put it all in there. I'm just going to put a handful right now. There we go. And I'm going to sprinkle just a little pinch of thyme. There we go. All right. Now we're going to get this sauteing. Want to get it good and sauteed. So we don't want to dissolve it. We want to get it trans just translucent. And then a little bit later, I'm going to add some garlic in there. All right, so right now what I like to do when my vegetables start sauteing, I like to go ahead and start seasoning it. So I'm going to take my Cajun seasoning, and I'm going to give it a little splash, just like that. And I don't want to put too much because you got to come back later and season your sauce. So for right now, we're going to saute it. I'm going to add a little pinch of Old Bay seasoning in there right now. Kick up the flavor. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a splash of Whiskershire sauce. There we go. Just like that, about a tablespoon or so. And then, of course, I got my white wine. We're going to go ahead and put a dash of the white wine. And we're going to put a dash of your sherry wine, cooking wine. There we go, in the pot. Now, we're going to let all this saute real good. And before we go to a commercial break, I'm going to get me a little sip. Got to have my little drinky drink. Woo, like I said. The more you drink, the better the food tastes. All right, so we're going to go ahead and let this saute, and we're going to go ahead to a commercial break, and we'll be right back with more Pat in the Pot. The Lake Charles Poultry has a second location offering more convenience and longer hours, but still the freshest meats at the best prices. Service like an old-fashioned meat market, Lake Charles Poultry, Highway 90 East, and Hobby Lobby Shopping Center in Lake Charles. Welcome back to Pat in the Pot. And while we're on commercial break, I was sauteing my vegetables and I got it right where it needs to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding the rest of my ingredients, which I'm gonna add some garlic right now. Oh yeah, that's the best flavor in there. I love me some garlic. There we go. Now, I'm gonna give that a little swirl and get that fragrant coming up from that garlic. Nice. Oh, it smells so good. All right, now we're gonna start adding our ingredients, our tomatoes. This is one whole large can of crushed tomatoes. There we go. Add that in there. Let me go ahead and lower my fire. There we go, like that. Because we now we're just going to have it simmering. Got one can of crushed tomatoes, a large can, and one can of diced tomatoes with chili peppers in there. There we go. Just like that. All right. Look at that. Get a good shot of that gravy. That's what you call a sauce. That's going to make that good old Catfish couvillon tastes so good. I'm about to throw in some good old Cajun seasoning in there. 
got it mixed it vegetables all good up in there okay so now we're going to start seasoning we're going to throw in our cajun seasoning now so we're just going to go ahead and just shake until the ancestors tell us to stop here we go come on come on come on ancestors don't stop me now all right i think they i heard somebody say stop all right there we go oh they pulling on my shirt tail saying that's enough all right I'm going to crank up that fire a little bit. There we go. Now, going to add me a little bit, pinch of thyme in there. There we go. Woo, there we go. Now, going to add another pinch of Old Bay seasoning. Just like that. There we go. Oh, it's starting to bubble up already. Here we go. Now you're gonna want this sauce to cook about 30 to 45 minutes because you want to cook all that acid out of that tomatoes. You don't want to get no heartburn. So the longer you cook it, the better, but you're gonna let it simmer. So we're gonna add another little dash of Whiskershire sauce in there. There we go. I need, I need some bay leaves. All right. Gonna add some cooking wine. There we go. And I'm going to throw my bay leaves in almost towards the end. There we go. My red sherry cooking wine. Now, I'm going to add another little sprinkle of green onions. Give it that flavor. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm going to let this simmer a little, little bit. I guess I can go ahead and throw my bay leaves in there right now. It won't hurt nothing. It'll just give it a good little flavor. I'm going to go ahead and throw these two bay leaves in there. One and two. Oh, there we go. All right. So now we got all the ingredients mixed together. Only thing left to do is put our catfish in there. All right. So I'm going to let this simmer for a few minutes. There we go. Get it good and stir it up. You got a good shot of that, Stephen. Look at that. Hey, look at it. All right, we want that to cook down. There we go. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put my spoon there. So while this is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and take a commercial break, and we'll be right back. Daniel, you ready to go camping? Well, yeah, Gavin. Let's go through the checklist. Let's check the water lines and fixtures for leaks. Southern stocks all the plumbing fittings you need to get going. Is the AC and refrigerator working? I sure hope so. I hate to be hot or have hot drinks. Southern stocks several models of ACs and refrigerators. Don't forget to check the lights. How many bulbs do you think we need? You know they burn out fast. Southern stocks 12 volt LED bulbs that last up to 50,000 hours. Let's make our first stop. Southern Mobile Home and RV Supply. Combray Memorial Park is a locally owned and operated cemetery that has been operating since 1952. We are located at 2701 Opelousa Street in Lake Charles, Louisiana. You can save your family the burden of making decisions alone and confused. And most of all, avoid price inflation. Please give one of our friendly service counselors a call at 337-436-0514 to assist you and your family with your final wishes. Welcome back to Pat in the Pot. While we were at commercial break, I got my catfish cuvillon sauce simmering in the pot right now and while it's simmering it's going to take a good 30 to 45 minutes to cook down. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this corn mock chew right now. So I got my corn, I got, I'm going to use about two tablespoons of uh, butter, unsalted butter right here. I have some green onions, about uh, two little bushes of green onions chopped up and I got about a half an onion right here and about a little quarter of, of bell pepper. I got a little bit of sugar. I got my heavy cream right here. I got a, one whole tomato, and I'm gonna chop up a little bit of this jalapeno pepper to put in there for some spice, and I have some smoked tasso to go in there. So first of all, let me go ahead and start cutting up on this tomato. We're gonna cut this tomato right quick and get this out of the way. That's gonna go into the H, into the um, corn makchu. There we go. Move this off the side. 
And we're going to slice that tomato up like this. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and put it in there. Oh, I'm making a mess. One more time. Okay, we're going to slice up this other tomato right here, the other half of it. So that's one whole tomato. All right. Smelling good in this kitchen. Got that catfish on the stove. Once that sauce is finished sauteing and cooked, we're going to throw in the catfish. In the meantime, we're making this good old makchu. All right, so now I'm going to start off and I'm going to cut my smoked ham hock, just a few pieces to give it a little smoky flavor. There we go. We're going to brown that in the pot. I'm going to cut it. Here we go. And you can get your smoked tasso anywhere. There we go. You can also get it at Big Charles Poultry. He sells smoked tasso. There we go. So we're going to put that in the bowl right here. And one more thing to cut up is our jalapeno. Good old spice. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and start chopping it up. I think that'll be enough because if I get to them seeds, then you're going to give me some news. It's going to be spicy. All right, so let me go ahead on and just dice this up right fast. Then we're going to get to the corn. All right. Let's see, I'm going to put that with the tomatoes because that's all going to go in together. There we go. All right, so now. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all how to clean this corn. Let me go ahead and put these, let me tell you about these gloves right here. I got this as a Christmas present from my sister about a couple of years ago. And I put it in the drawer and I forgot about it. Well, I was digging through that drawer last night and I found it. And I tell you what, I'm about to show you what it's gonna do. You're gonna go ahead and grab that corn like that and you're gonna pull that shuck right off of that. Just like that, pull it off. Let's see if I can grab it. There we go. I'm going to grab it and pull all that hair out of there like that. All the way around. Pull it all out. Break that off. And I'm going to show you what these gloves are going to do. It's a vegetable gloves. Pulls all that hair off of there. Look at that. There we go. Cleans all that hair out. It just pulls it out. Call a veggie glove. Normally you would have to take your knife or a little brush and pull all that hair out of there, but look how clean it came out. Thank you, Juanita, for my veggie gloves. I love it. All right, so now we're going to take the plate that's already got the corn on it. We're going to take our knife, and I'm going to show you. You're going to start halfway. You're not going to start at the top because you want to hold it. You're going to start halfway through, and you're just going to Slice it all the way down, just like that. You're going to turn it. You're going to keep on slicing through till you get it all the way, all the way around. I'm making a mess because when you're cutting corn on the cob, it tends to make a mess. So you're going to flip it over like that, and you're going to catch the other half, just like that. Slice it all the way around. There you go. Then you're going to take your knife. Well, here's some more on there. Let's get it all. There we go. All right. So then you're going to take the back of your knife and you're just going to slide it down. You're going to get that good old milk off that cob because that's where the sweetness come in. Just scrape it all the way around. Get all that milk out. And I'm making a mess. But that's all right, it's gonna make a mess, but we'll clean it up. Okay, so I can take my gloves off right now. So while we got everything cut up, we're gonna go ahead and take a commercial break and we'll come right back and show you how to cook this matchu. Oh, 
Lake Charles Poultry has a second location, offering more convenience and longer hours, but still the freshest meats at the best prices. Service like an old-fashioned meat market. Lake Charles Poultry, Highway 90 East and Hobby Lobby Shopping Center in Lake Charles. Welcome back to Pat in the Pot. While we was on commercial break, I got everything ready to go, and I'm gonna throw in my smoked ham hocks, and I'm gonna go ahead and brown that real good. Let that start frying down. And while that's frying down, I'm gonna start adding my cut up vegetables. I got my onions going in. There we go, this is for the good old corn makchu. Got the onions, and I got bell pepper. There we go. We're gonna saute that for a little bit. Let that get good and translucent. There we go. You got a shot of that, look at that. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start adding a little bit of seasoning. Got my Creole seasoning right here. Just a little dash. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and start cooking that down. There we go. I smell that. All right, so while this is sauteing, I'm gonna tell y'all a little story about this catfish, which really, the story is not about catfish, but it is about fish. So years ago, my mom and dad, they had a camp out in Wildwood, Texas. And every weekend they'd take us out there and we'd stay in a cabin, we'd go boat riding, fishing, horseback riding. It just was a, a, a summer thing that we did and um, my dad and mama used to go fishing. They would bring my aunt and uncles and cousins. There was a whole bunch of us that would go every weekend. So one day my mom and daddy, they went fishing. And my daddy, he used to like to cut up a lot. He was a jokester. So my, my daddy caught some perch. And he liked to clown around. So he had that perch in his hand. And he had his mouth open. He kept saying, kept calling my mama's name. He said, Margie, Margie, look. And he had that little perch. Right there his, by his mouth, he had his mouth wide open. He had that little perch, Margie, Margie, look. M my mama would say, Joe, don't do that, Joe. That fish is going to jump out. J jump in your mouth. Oh, that fish ain't, boom. As soon as he said that fish ain't going to do nothing, that little perch jumped right out of his hand and went straight in his mouth. Boy, I tell you what, you talk about eyes lit up. He was so scared that it, was, it took a time to get that perch out of his mouth. That perch opened up them fins up in that mouth. And I tell you what, boy, my daddy was scared. My mama got scared. And I tell you what, he learned his lesson after that. He never opened his mouth again to put no fish up in there. So I'll never forget that. That was funny, but it wasn't funny. Funny and scary at the same time. My good old daddy. I tell you what, I'll always remember that about him. So, all right, we got this sauteing. All right, now what I want to do now, let's see, I'm going to add a little, no, what is, I'm going to add a little sugar, yeah, there we go. Add a little sugar, there we go. Let that saute down a little bit. Now while that's sauteing, I'm going to check on this, see how the catfish, Cubillon is coming along. Let me get this spoon. Oh, yeah, it's coming along real good. It won't be long, we'll be able to put the fish up in there. All right. Let me go ahead and let that continue simmering. All right. Oh, man, my wine way across the bar over there. That's all right. I'll get it during a commercial break. I wanted to get my little drinky drink on, but it's way across the room. All right. All right, so let's continue doing that. It's getting almost where I want to get it. I'm going to go ahead and start adding the corn right now. Let's go ahead and slide that corn up in there. That is six whole kernels of corn, fresh corn. 
It's always best to use fresh corn on a mock chew. You get all that good sweet juice off of the cob. Oh yes, look at that. There we go. Now we're gonna fry that down for a few minutes. Start stirring that up. Fry that around. All right, while we frying this down, I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all a little joke. So, you know, Boudreaux and Thibodeau, you know, every, everywhere you go in Louisiana, at least on every block, there's a Boudreaux and Thibodeau. So Boudreaux and Thibodeau, they decide they're gonna go hunting one day. So they gather all that stuff and off they go to the woods. They start walking and walking and all of a sudden Thibodeau says, he looks around and he says, me Boudreaux, me I think we lost. Boudreaux looks around and he says, me I think you're right. So Thibodeau says, well Boudreaux, they say if you get lost in the woods to shoot three times in the air and somebody gonna come get you. So Boudreaux say, okay Thibodeau, go ahead and shoot three times in the air. So Boudreaux, I mean so Thibodeau, he shoots three times in the air. They wait 20 minutes, nobody comes. So Boudreaux says, Thibodeau, nobody coming. You're going to have to shoot three more times. So Thibodeau shoots three more times. Another 20 minutes go by, still nobody comes. All right. Boudreaux says, man, nobody's still coming to get us, Thibodeau. What's the matter? You're going to have to shoot three more times. Thibodeau looks at Boudreaux. He says, man, they better hurry up because I'm almost out of arrows. That doggone boot, that's what you call cool young. He's shooting some doggone arrows. Now, how you gonna get somebody to hear you with shooting? That's what you call a boot and a timber though. Shooting arrows. They're gonna stay in the woods. All right, so we got this going on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start seasoning. I'm gonna add my little sugar right now. Throw that in there. Make it a little sweet. That's about tablespoon. I'm going to add some tomatoes, my, my, my whole tomato, and a half a jalapeno pepper to give it a little bit of spice. Kick up my fire a little bit. Start, let me kick it up a little bit higher. There we go. Start browning it down. All righty. Now while that's cooking down, I'm gonna go ahead and add my catfish. Everything should be ready to go in that pot. There we go. Let me grab it. Go ahead and put that in there like that. There we go. Got two things going. Got my mock chew going on one side and the catfish on the other side. I'm going to put it down up in there. Now, one thing about catfish, once you put it in there, or any kind of fish, once you put it in your sauce, you got to get it down in there so it can start cooking, and that's, you're going to have to leave it alone after that. You won't be able to stir it because you're going to break it up. So let me get it down up in there with a spoon where I can get it down up in the sauce like that. I'll kick up the fire a little bit. There we go. Now, what you want to do from this point, you're going to take your pot holders and you're going to shake it. There you go. Shake it like that. Get it good and coated. Once you get it all shook up, one more time, put that, push that fish down up in there. Put that juice over it. Look at that. Eight. That's what you call a catfish coupillon. Isn't that pretty? All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it and let it simmer for about 15 minutes. Don't take long for fish to cook. There we go. So I got my corn still going on over here. Okay, now what I want to do now frying down. I'm going to add a, just a pinch of powdered dry roux. 
just to give it that little Creole flavor. There you go. All right, now I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning in there. All right, so while this is sauteing down, we're gonna take a small, short commercial break and we'll be right back. Combre Memorial Park is a locally owned and operated cemetery that has been operating since 1952. We are located at 2701 Opelousas Street in Lake Charles, Louisiana. You can save your family the burden of making decisions alone and confused. And most of all, avoid price inflation. Please give one of our friendly service counselors a call at 337-436-0514 to assist you and your family with your final wishes. KLOC TV and Media provides video services, including transfers, CD and DVD replication or duplication, CD and DVD printing and packaging, custom editing, and DVD authoring. Call 474-3300 with your video needs. KLOC TV and Media, your one-stop marketing solution. All right, welcome back to Pat in the Pot, and we got one last step. I got my corn machu all ready to go. I got my catfish cubion cooked, and we're going the last step is putting a little bit of lemon zest, about a quarter of a teaspoon. There we go. We're just gonna zest it all up in there, just like that, just to give it a little lemon flavor, just like that. All right, I think that'll do it. I'm gonna set this off aside and I'm gonna grab my pot holder and I'm gonna give it a little swirl right fast. Just like that. Ooh, I can smell that good old lemon up in there. Oh yeah, Michelle, it's looking good. Now remember, you don't wanna stir your, your fish because you're gonna break it up. So you just wanna take it and swirl it around just like that. All right, I think we are ready to go. Let me go ahead and start putting some of this good old food on this plate. Look at this good old corn mock chew. And while we was on commercial break, I put the last ingredient in the corn, which was one cup of heavy cream. One cup of heavy cream, and I let it cook down until my corn was thick. There we go. Gonna add a little corn on the plate like that. There we go. Now for the catfish cubion. Go ahead and put some of that sauce on there, like that. One more little scoop. That's what you call a Louisiana style catfish cubion. Woo, look at that. Look at that pretty fish. All right, we ready to go. All we gotta do is taste it now. Woo, look at that plate of food. But before we do that, I gotta get one more sip. Woo, woo, my good old friend, Sue Prudum Lobster. Thank you, I'm enjoying my wine in this pretty little blue glass. All right, here we go. We're gonna taste it. First of all, I'm gonna taste this corn. Yes, indeed. Ooh, I gotta blow it. Don't wanna burn them out. Mmm, mmm. Delicious, delicious. Now let's go ahead and try this fish. Give me a little bite of rice. I'm gonna add that fish on top of that rice. This is what you call a cubion. Here we go. I know y'all wanting this bite right now, huh? Y'all hungry? Here we go. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That's all for Pat in the Pot this week. We'll see you next week, coming at you with more Pat in the Pot. And I take my hat off to y'all.